Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you some artworks of Fernando Amorzolo. But who is Fernando Amorzolo? Okay, Fernando Amorzolo was born on May 30, 1892 in the Paco district of Manila. At 13, he was apprenticed to the noted Philippine artist Fabian de la Rosa, his mother's first cousin. In 1909, Amorzolo enrolled at the Liceo de Manila and then attended the Fine Arts School at the University of the Philippines, graduating in 1914. We're gonna show you some famous paintings and artworks of Fernando Marsolo. The Confection de la Estandarte Nacional, or Making of the Philippine Flag. Fernando Marsolo symbolized a group of women waving the flag. The flag of symbolizes the freedom and justice of a country. Amorzolo was inspired to paint this piece as a commemoration of the independence of the Philippines in the year July 4, 1946. The Malacanang in the River It is a painting of Amorzolo that depicts the different style of colors and lighting in the canvas. The Malacanang is an official residence of the President of the Philippines. Afternoon Meal of the Rice Workers this painting is one of the major paintings of Fernando Amorzolo. It deals with the simple life of farmers after they work at the field. This complements the way of living of the Filipino farmers at the field. You can see the hard work and the efforts of the farmers just to gain something for their daily livings. Talagang Bukid This depicts a portrait of an ideal young Filipino maiden showing a sweet smile as if she enjoys the agricultural life in the Philippines. His use of vibrant colors explicitly gives off the impression that life in the Philippines during his time. Around uh, 1937, this was particularly agricultural dependent, which was evident in his other works that shows farmers planting rice. Bombing of the Intendencia on this day, 78 years ago, was the Japanese bombing of the Intendencia at Intramuros, Manila. He was eyewitness to the events of the war. What black and white photography would not yield to us? Amorosolo's colors gives us at all its realism. The assassination of Governor Bustamante it is a combination of document and drama and this rabble of friars surrounded by royal guards. In broad daylight, a procession in progress is put to an abrupt halt. Friars in tonsure with white habit with black clothes as four standards stick in the periphery are assaulting Bustamante. The Burning of Manila This artwork depicts the idea how the Manila is devastated during that time. This painting shows the Battle of Manila happened during the Japanese era. He depicted the tragedy and horror in this battle. Tinikling Tinikling dance is a traditional dance of the Filipinos. Here, we can see a simple and happy life of the Filipino during his time. Fiesta in Antipolo This oil painting on canvas depicts a rural scene where a group of people are shown celebrating a fiesta. The main focus is on a pair of dancers in the field surrounded by revealers, both young and old. Abundant food is presented in the basket, full of assorted fruits on the benches on the ground, as well as the traditional roasted pig or lechon being prepared by two men. Nearby is a house with huge windows from where dwellers watch the revealers. At the background is a huge church, a symbolic town structure. A vast number of townsmen completes the essence of the fiesta. The Bayanihan is a part of our culture that can be said to be old-fashioned or traditional since the time it started. The concept of heroism is the cooperation of neighbors or neighbors in carrying and usually moving a house, which was then a hut made of nipa and other light materials by their colleague to a new place. This tradition reflects the unity and peaceful coexistence and support system in a community. Filipinos are naturally helpful and caring, which strengthens the ideal of a living in the past. There is no denying that Filipinos value a society that works together and holds in times of comfort and misery. Defense of a Filipino woman's honor. Here, a Filipino man defends a woman who is either his wife or daughter. 
for being raped by an unseen Japanese soldier. Note the Japanese military cap on the man's foot, where at the onset of the World War II, a Morsolo's typical pastoral scene were placed in the depictions of war-torn nation. During the Japanese occupation of the Philippines during World War II, Amor Solis spent his days at his home near the Japanese garrison, where he sketched war scenes from the house's windows or from rooftop. Palai Maiden The featured painting is considered a masterpiece for the subtlety of its encoded messages, which in this case has been described as national pride. In stark contrast to the increasing westernization of the urban capital Manila, this work is a celebration of a pristine rural Philippine countryside. The scene is bathed in sunlight and features a country maiden. The Filipino beauty was an important symbol of national identity. The colors of the Philippine flag are evident in the blue kerchief, red skirt, and white blouse. The subject gazes directly at the viewer holding a generous bundle of newly harvested rice, a hope filled for the young Philippines. El Shego or the blind man. A blind man sings while playing the guitar as a young lady rests her head upon his shoulder. The planting of rice along Mayon volcano. This was painted in 1949. As we can see the farmers at the middle of the field. Behind them, the Mayon volcano releasing a smoke vapor. In history, the ash released by the volcano in its previous eruptions as a reason for the fertile landscape of this area. In this painting, we can easily identify the mountains from left to right. Mount Atimala, Mount Kasilungan, Mount Banahaw de Lokban, Mount Banahaw, and Mount Cristobal. Fernando Amorosor describes this place from their hometown in Los Baños. This painting is also one of Amorosolo's popular paintings. The mountains can be seen here, and if you look, they have the resemblance to the formation of the clouds. Nowadays, we can still see paddy fields in this area, but there are already standing buildings and subdivisions. Mount Arayat Here, we can see what is happening somewhere in the countryside or rural area and Mount Arayat. Based on the appearance of the mountain, we can say it is in Zambales. Maybe we are all familiar with this painting. This painting is titled Rice Terraces in Baguio. And I think the mountain we see in the background is Mount Ugo. If you are coming from the city of Pines, you will also see this mountain. Okay, so we can conclude that Fernando Amorsolo is an artist who values and reflects a soulful connection with the various traditional indigenous cultures and the sensibilities of the people. As we observe, his work depicts the different cultural, social, and traditional lore of the Philippines. And that's all. Thank you for watching.